is that you would like some help with marketing your product that you're thinking about and that you have a prototype for. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Then they feel listened to. And it, it can sound a little elementary schoolish to us, but I can tell you just as a coach, practicing that, it's very, very powerful, more than it might seem. The other thing is you make observations. So maybe somebody gets really fidgety when they start talking about something, right? And so you can say, gosh, I, I noticed that you know you slumped when you started talking about how hard it is for you to go out and network for your business. So I'm not making, this is where you don't interpret. You just make an observation. You're not saying, oh, I think you might be depressed about that. You know, <laughs> I think you might, you know, have some serious issues with networking. No, no, you just notice what you saw. That's it. And just they might, they might go like, yeah, yeah, I didn't realize I did that. Or yeah, I know it's because I hate it. Okay, <laughs> now you've been voted. But it's this idea of, you know, getting the hands off. You're not there trying to fix like a surgeon. You're just kind of observing, mirroring back, and letting that do its magic. Another, another powerful thing about active listening is, and it goes with not interpreting. So imagery and metaphors are something that are very powerful when people are talking about something. And they say like, you know, when I started this business and I went to get the business license, I just felt I was firing on all cylinders. Great, use that image. Don't say, oh, so so you were really revved up or you were really, no, no. Use, they said firing on all cylinders. Somehow that image means something to them. So go with it. So that's something that, you know, Again, it's using their language, meeting them where they're at, and really letting them know that they're being heard. 